Liverpool to Portsmouth, yeah, that chorus got the crowd screaming. Okay, folks, welcome. Today I'm going to um, have a bit of play around the water here. 35 degrees here today. That's Celsius, so hot. Um, day off work, so I thought I'd head out here and have a dig around in the water. Now, this spot used to be really popular um, before the, the big floods we had here in southeast Queensland in 2011. And since then, it's pretty much made it accessible by full drive only well it's not pretty much definitely it's the only way you can get in and um and even that's getting pretty ordinary now so anyway people still get down here i don't have a great deal of hope but hopefully we find enough to make a video out of Alrighty, so today's weapons of choice got the nox 800 the um sand scoop i just sort of point out to the key hanging there I lock my keys in the back of the truck and I just take that one key on there so I don't have to worry about lugging keys around everywhere. First fight of the day. The Nox is swimming. Nice. Well, not fighted much, guys. Um, we've got another spot in mind. I might head to shortly. I'll do another run up here. Um, that sounded pretty good. Amazingly. Anyway. guys at a new spot at the lakeside um, I've no idea what it's like here no idea at all never been here um, but there's public access that means people and what I've discovered around this lake is usually where there's public access and you know um, amenities that sort of thing there has been properties before the dam was built so I've stumbled across you know pre decimal coins and stuff in the past so Anyway, I'm just going to wander up the bank here, um, spend half an hour, see what I find. If nothing, it's back to that other spot I was telling you about. Um, no, it's a different spot actually, because the first spot I was telling you about, I can't actually get through in my car by myself anyway. I, I started this as a water crossing and it got almost waist deep and I'm not tackling that on my own. So that's for another day. Yeah, what I was expecting. Not many signals yet, but early days. Another one. The Nox is picking out the fish hooks pretty well this morning. It's a unique looking sinker. Nothing doing, fellas. I'm going to keep plugging away. I've just been sport the last few trips I've done, I suppose, with all the coins and stuff, but Look, if you don't look, you don't find, I suppose, so I'm going to keep wandering for a bit. Well, it looks like a piece of a 22 shell, pretty sure it is actually. But that rang up as a 4 on the Knox. Now, normally brass is in the 20s, so 
don't know. Well, that's probably the last thing I was expecting out here, but I'll take it. Two bucks is two bucks. Yep, sweet. I wonder how old that one is. I haven't got a clue. I can't read that. How nice is this place, but I hope the camera is doing it justice, eh? Cows over there, bit of a fire out in the mountains over there. Just beautiful. And there was that big chunk of iron. I'm not carrying that out of here. I can stay for the next guy. Another 22 shell ringing up as a four. That's very odd. Don't understand that. Yep. I don't know what's going on over there. We've got the rescue chopper circling around over there. It looks like some boats on the water too, so... I don't know. But I just found a ewe nail that rang up beautifully. Solid 14. Thought I was in for a pretty spectacular um, pull tab. But no such luck. And down under the slime here, second coin of the day. It's going to be $1. Cool. Three bucks. I'll get me a coke on the way home. Might be useful if it's not too rotten. I reckon that's the bounciest signal I've ever got with the Nox. It would jump between four and thirty. <laughs> so weird. All right. So somebody's tried to use this as a boat ramp, and the detector found this. Not me, but if you can see there. Another dollar. Alright, spot number three. I'm going to head down to the water down here and um, try not to get bitten by snakes because I've got my safety boots on. Yeah, I was supposed to be playing in the water, see. But anyway, um, yeah, like I said, I've been here before, but I don't know whether you guys have been here with me, but um, it's a popular spot for the youngs, youngins to hang out and drink and um, fish and stuff at the night, in the night time, so we'll head down there, see if we can't find some lost treasure, hey? Yeah, so the water's down a bit. Normally this ledge here, the water's up the top of it, so she's down a bit. But anyway, um, I should be able to get down there and hopefully stuff's dropped over the ledge, hey? How's that for a theory? Just led so far guys. This place is signal rich but it's just full of junk like you wouldn't believe. I'm not digging at all, I'm just digging the steady signals. There's so many jumpy ones. There is so much lead in here guys. Seriously, you could spend a month here digging it all. I'm just cherry picking now because, yeah. But I just dug a five cents. I'm thinking when the water's up there a bit and you're fishing, this is um, a pretty good snag, I reckon, because one, two, three. It's a piece of fishing line, piece of fishing line. Look at this. <laughs> wow. I'll right, put that there for sexy if there's any. Yeah. There's another one there. Yeah, you get the idea, I'm going to turn the camera off and dig them. So that's what I dug. There's still the signals there, I'll just put these in the back. Hang on. As you can hear, there's still signals everywhere. So yeah, proves my point. It was a good snag. That sounded spectacular. Solid 27. I don't know what it is, but it sounded good. There's another beautiful signal that wasn't. I don't know what it is. It's aluminium, rang up solid 31. Looks like it's got glass in there, might be some sort of binocular lens or something like that. Unsure. Alright, I've given up digging the lead, guys. 
There's just so much of it. Oh, there's another one there. It's just everywhere. I'll take the headphones off and let you have a listen, but not really much point. You all know what it sounds like. I got me a lure. Cool. Alrighty, let's get about to it guys. So heading back to the car now. A little bit of a wrap up when I get there. Five cents. Alright guys, target wrap up. The junk. The coins, we got four dollars and twenty cents there. Stack of lead. And looks like copper. You can see what I've scratched there. Old fishing lure. So it's cool, that'll go in the collection, that'll go in the lead bucket, that'll go on a drink on the way home, and that'll go in the shit tin. So, not a um, super school type of day, but we're still good to be out digging holes. Till next time, thanks guys.